Well, hey, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, according to whenever you see this PowerPoint. Today we'll be talking about the causes of the War of 1812. But before we can get started, we need to do our questions. Don't forget to answer my questions at cbaldwin at sacbstx.org. Uh, today I need to ask you from the CNN news from yesterday, where was the CNN virtual tour trip to? And uh, that is the capital city of Portugal. And who was President Madison's wife? So today we start talking about the War of 1812 and we have to talk about the causes. And um, some of the causes of the war were the Chesapeake and Leopard Affair in 1807 the conflict in the Ohio River Valley, the war hawks in Congress, nationalism in the country, and of course, Henry Clay. So in 1791, uh, the British encouraged the Native American tribes in the Ohio River Valley, especially the Miami tribe, to revolt. Uh, President Washington sent Mad Anthony Wayne, General Mad Anthony Wayne, gotta love that name um, to fight the Battle of Fallen Timbers and it's called Fallen Timbers because the Native Americans uh, chopped down a lot of trees to keep the American forces out but uh, Mad Anthony was known for pushing his troops and uh, in pushing his troops he uh, won the battle and uh, the Miamis were actually deported from their homeland. In 1807, the American frigate Chesapeake, which was an American ship, but a warship, um, was boarded by the uh, British ship Leopard. Now, the British had a had a uh, habit of stopping American ships and boarding them and impressing our seamen and that was like 6,000 of our guys over time had been impressed by the British uh, warships and uh, they always claimed that they were deserters from um, their navy so but this incident was different because the Chesapeake was actually an official American warship. Uh, the Chesapeake had actually come alongside the Leopard uh, to exchange mail and um, the captain of the Chesapeake had invited the captain of the Leopard to come aboard uh, but instead he said he was coming aboard to look for, for uh, escaped uh, sailors and so uh, the captain of Chesapeake said, no, you can't board an American ship, an official American ship. And he did board it. Well, they blew a hole in the side of the Chesapeake. Um, and so then he did come aboard. They did find one sailor and they hung him from their mast. Uh, but um, it was a terrible incident, especially when the Chesapeake came into Boston Harbor and they saw the damage that the leopard had done to it. Then another cause of the War of 1812 was Tecumseh. Tecumseh was a brilliant Native American leader. He was a Shawnee. Um, <clears throat> he, it, he's a strange fellow because he had been educated by um, whites in the area of Ohio River Valley. But then when he um, how long he decided that all white people should be killed and that all Native American tribes should come together and this was instigated by his brother who was known as the prophet and when that happened and he tried to get all these different groups together to massacre the whites and run them out of their territory uh, to come some uh, started a town called Prophet's Town where all these Native American tribes could gather and so future uh, president William Henry Harrison 
attacked the town, um, killed the Native Americans there, and uh, eventually they uh, killed Tecumseh. Also, the British had a habit of blocking ports, and one of the ports they blocked was New York Harbor. But all these incidents caused a lot of people in Congress to want war, and when they wanted war, you gotta excuse my puppy, my puppy is playing with her toy. Um, when they wanted war, um, the leader of that group was Henry Clay. Henry Clay was from the Ohio River Valley, and um, people who want war in Congress are called hawks. And so the hawks wanted war very badly. And the nation wanted war very badly because there was a huge feeling of nationalism. Well, I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to watch the news, and I'll see you tomorrow.